sunset, yo. Oh wait, look at this giant. That thing looks like a Nile crocodile. What's up everybody, Blue Gabe here. We're back from the Keys, we're back from Colorado, we're back home. I know y'all probably been wondering if I won the lottery, but I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't. But what I did do is get a brand new wrap, y'all see it? And we're in Okeechobee going gator hunt. I've been trying to hold off on gator hunting until the weather gets right, but I'm tired. We gotta start getting some gators killed. Season ends November 1st. We gotta get to killing. Look, we got Blue James, y'all. Blue James in the house. Mark Walsh, his wife. We got G3 Outfitters. We even got an uh, Instagram celebrity guest. Look at the new wrap. You let deer meat borrow your boat for one day and the gators bite all over it. Look at that. All right, so we actually have been gator hunting over the last couple weeks. We've caught some big ones. The conditions have just been horrible to video. Windy, rainy, but I do have one awesome gator hunt from about four days ago. While we're out here and we're getting ready to go on this hunt, I'm gonna show you all that hunt real quick with a couple friends of mine, Megan Johnson, Lacey, their friend, the tag holder, who unfortunately I can't remember her name right now. So while B-Rad's getting my boat ready, y'all watch this hunt real quick. And before you know it, we'll be back on my hunt. For those of y'all that follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but this coming weekend, I'll be in South Carolina in Georgetown, South Carolina to be exact. So if any of y'all want to meet us for dinner, hit me up on Instagram, tell me where you want to meet. We'll all come together and meet in one particular place. But October 5th here in Okeechobee, Florida, me, Dear Mom, Dear Me, and a couple other big YouTubers are having a meet and greet. If you follow me on Instagram or Dear Meat on Instagram or Facebook, all that information will be there and it will be in the description below. All right, let's catch this thing. Bump the boat in reverse of here. Oh, I see him. See him? Go to the free spool of yours. Not all the way. Not all the way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, all the way back down. Yeah, nice and slow. Real slow. You just want to pull them up. Yeah, real slow. What we got, Megs? That'd be gator. A big old lizard. Lizard fishing. <laughs> I thought y'all had him whooped. He's got y'all whooped. The lines are definitely crossed. I can hear that. Yeah. All right, here he comes, Merida. Ready? Yeah. One or no. two more crankies and he's up. All right, here, here he comes, Merida. Uh-huh. He's coming. Yep. Ready? Oh, my back. Did he just go back down? He went back down. I can't, I can't do it. Right, step away. Step yeah. right over here. I need help. I'm trying. Hold on. Please put that down. There. Okay. Down. Okay, down. Take this one. 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 Take a back harness. <laughs> we got him. We got him like halfway up, and then he went doo -doo -doo -doo, right down, back down to the bottom. Yep. Oh, we got a pull though. Got a nice pull on that one. Uh, that was a good lift. Glasses are starting to fog up. All right. Yeah. Oh. oh, there he comes. He's coming up. Nice harpoon. There he comes. There he comes. Oh yeah, look how crazy tangled we are. Woo. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, oh my God. shit. Go to free spool, go to free spool. I'm, I'm in free spool, I'm in free spool. I'm harpoon him, harpoon. harpoon him, get him, Lacey. Here, got him, right in the got him. Part of his neck. Wait a sec. Right there. Right there. Oh. Got in the mouth. Uh oh. Here, don't pull. Don't pull. You gotta let that thing go. Okay, Hold this right here, Lace. That's why everything. You gotta go slow. Entangled. Am I winding or not? No, no, we're just sitting, sitting right here. 
Oh, he's gonna roll, he's gonna roll. Don't let him. All right. I'm gonna bang stick him so we don't lose him. Okay. Yeah. Are you, the rope's tied somewhere? Just pull it up. All right. Lower him down. <laughs> you have tape? No, but don't, what do you don't need? wanna. What do you need? We need to get him in the boat. Okay, okay in the boat. Um, Here, give me all this stuff. Okay. Boat game. Do you wanna tie something around his mouth? No. Alright, guys, that was totally chaotic. Totally happened really fast. Couldn't get the bite on camera. Couldn't get much of the fight on camera because we didn't have anybody to film. This is a dinosaur. Wait till I turn the camera around. What about that giant? So big. Meredith's first gator, <laughs> Lacey's first gator. Woo! Meg and I, y'all, her and I have killed a boatload of giants before, so it ain't her first. Look at this thing. That's a monarch. I mean, giant. All right, we got him. We got the hook in him. We're gonna see what we can do with him now. It ain't ever over until it's over, y'all. Pull him! Put your hand up there and winch him like you're on a kayak. I've done watched you fish a thousand times. Now reel down on him. Oh my gosh. Please harpoon him. Just like a kingfish. <laughs> Mark harpoon him. Just try to break it when you do. All right, I'm gonna try to put a little heat on him with you too. Okay. Just because we need to kill another one. <laughs> that or the next. I mean, if he comes up tail first, he didn't his butt get something in him. Oh. Preferably in a back or the neck. Mark, try to hit him in the throat or in the side. Soft. Just, yeah, something soft. Not armor. Gonna get the big treble hook. Y'all, huge shout out to Mark Walsh. He got the tags. He's the actual tag holder. His wife, Tiff, her first ever hunting trip. She's up to bat next. She wanted to do it first, but she wanted to watch it get done, so I don't blame her. If any time you're doing anything in life and you don't know exactly what you're doing, sit back and watch somebody do it one time. You'll get way better out of the deal. Yeah, me and you are. Yep. Put that tail that other one. Come on, Bree. Well, that's a good thing. You got mad. You okay? <laughs> It's pulling the boat. Yeah. It's a big gator. It's a big one, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Pull on him. Pull. I know he's going to pull me. I might, be, I might be swimming in a second. Here on the pit, will you feel? Get my phone just for a sec, please. All right, so this big hook, normally I don't use it. Robert loves it, deer meat. But when we're in this deep water, this gator could weigh 400 pounds. And you're trying to pull up 400 pounds of dead weight off the bottom. He'll literally grab the bottom. Yeah. You drop this hook down there and stick it in him, then you got him with something a little bit stronger than these rods. What do you want? You Keep backing up, Mark. Back up? Yeah. You swimming under the boat? There we go. Oh. There we go. Ah. That? Keep that front tip up. Get ready, Mark, over here. Come on, Mark. 
Freaking huge! <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, y'all. I'm gonna attempt to run the GoPro and pull the gator up along with Bree and Brad. This is probably gonna get a little, little Brody if y'all ask me. Mark's behind the bang stick. We're gonna ease him up. Y'all looking for a good bang stick? Gator Pro. Gator Pro hooks. Raw, I mean, anything you need for Gator. Upside down, but we're good. Go to Gator Pro. Use promo code Blue Gabe and you'll save money. Oh, no. Move that fishing rod. Right yeah. He's coming straight up oh, now. Hold my on. God. Just don't hit my toe. <laughs> you want me to reverse? Hold on. You want me to cut that game? <laughs> Just give up. Was I showing butt crack? A little bit. <laughs> this is a live, a live round right here. Just watch yourself, man. Get ready, Mark. When he comes up, I don't. See, I see his right there. Hold on. Give me that GoPro. That's his front leg. Get a bob leg. Get ready. Right. Nope, nope. Come where I'm at and angle down. Go. You my brad's got the Ready? Yeah, buddy. Get him, Brad. Always take your mouth as quick as you can. Woo! <laughs> You don't have a leg? No, one body don't. He's a fighter. Mark, come over here. That head's got to go in further first. Huh? That head's got to go in further. We got, you're gonna come you're gonna wreck on that. this side and help Brian. You're, you're gonna wreck that. That's alright, we'll get him off of it. That bimini top. Come here and help Brian just pull on this leg. There you go. I can grab this second leg. You got that back leg right, right there. Right there. Sorry. Nice Woo! Hey, right there, right look at that, kid. I talked to Bree today, invited her on this trip. Look oh what we just put God. in the boat. It's freaking Thanks. huge. What'd you think about that? Tiff! I'm excited for the next one. <laughs> Squirter. Look at that. Look at that thing. Not one, I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Brad's got the worst gag reflex. Yeah. All right, y'all, that's two giant gators in just a short amount of time, but guess what? We got one tag left and plenty of baits. They're hard to get in the boat, and then they're hard to get out of the boat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's a big chunk of alligator, y'all. We're gonna jerk this gator down and get some measurements, but I'm not telling y'all right now. I want y'all to leave a comment below and tell me how big you think he is. Eleven ten. All right, y'all. That's a quarter. That's a three quarters of an inch bigger than my best last year. We'll see y'all in the morning. All right, y'all, so one of the coolest things about Florida Trophy Gators, who you also saw in my last gator video, they brought, they'll brought buy your alligator for you, give you the head back for free. They'll mount it for you. They'll butcher it for you. They'll process it for you. But they also sell fresh gator meat. I didn't have time today to clean that giant alligator. I had them clean it for me. But in the meantime, hey, I walked in there, bought three pounds of fresh meat. Now I'm going to take it home and cook it for y'all. So don't go anywhere. I'm about to throw down in the kitchen, y'all. All right, y'all, we're back in the kitchen. So one of the cool things about Florida Trophy Gators, when you get that meat, it's already tenderized and packaged in one-pound bags. You don't have to do nothing with it. And if you have them process one of your gators, they'll do all that for you. You can get it in one-pound or five-pound bags. Now, both those gators we killed were so big and just, 
I don't have the situation here to clean them. So I sold them the gator, they take the meat, sell it back to me, bam, we're ready to cook. We're gonna take some can cooker original Creole seasoning. I don't know why, it's sort of off that movie, The Water Boy. I just felt like gator and Creole went together. Got some portobello mushrooms. Y'all, and I haven't introduced Bree yet. So this is Bree Andersey. She's a kayak fisherman and paddleboard fisherman. Check her Instagram out, she's the real deal. So this, yesterday morning I was laying in bed, just woke up and I've been following her. If you watch Robert's shrimping video, you'll see her. She just comes paddle boarding up out of the dark. Just legitimately take my advice and follow her on Instagram. And soon she's gonna be doing other big things. She's gonna gator hunt out of a kayak. We're gonna help her out a little bit with that and just give her some tips and some pointers and make sure she doesn't die. <laughs> but right now we're gonna go put that on the grill. All right, sorry the lighting's bad. So a lot of people misunderstand gator for being chewy and tough and not tasting really good. That's because they overcook it. Cook it hot and fast. And as soon as it's done, get it off the heat. Y'all check that out. Oh. That Creole seasoning is gonna be good. What you think? I think it's gonna be good. Oh, your eyes just turned red. What you think? I think they're gonna be good. <laughs> Y'all know he'll eat anything because you've seen him in all my videos, standing out there in the swamp eating frog legs. All right, it's been about five minutes on the grill. We're ready to eat. We also got a big surprise inside. We took a big chunk of elk, stuffed it with cream cheese and jalapenos, wrapped it in bacon and put it in the oven. So that's on the menu too. I thought about doing fried gator, but everybody does that. So swapped it up a little bit. Did some Creole style grilled gator. All right, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, y'all, everything's cooked. Let me show you what it looks like though. Look at that. Medium rare elk steak, grilled alligator, some mushrooms, a salad wedge. Look at that. Mm. Are you excited? So excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Super excited. You're excited about anything. <laughs> Look at that. All right, y'all, let me say grace. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing me to meet so many awesome new friends and having a safe gator hunt and providing us with this wonderful meal we have here. Thank you for dying on the cross and forgive us of our sins. Thank you for everything you give us. Amen. All right, y'all, we're about to dig in. Let's see. Let's see. Should I go for it first? Anything. Alligator, I no, guess, alligator. since it's an alligator. Yeah. Catch, clean, and cook, minus the clean part. Pretty good. That's good. You didn't even say pretty good this time. No, that's good. I like that way better that's than fried. Good. You like the Creole seasoning? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's really good. It's got a little tang to it. Mm -hmm. I've only had it fried. So I know that footage was a little crazy all over the place, but you know what? Gator hunting's not something that's super easy to do and get on film when you don't have a designated cameraman. Thankfully, on yesterday's hunt with Bree, James showed up and he he just designated himself as cameraman. I don't even have to pay him yet, except for Cook. But um, other than that, it was a great show. Two big giant alligators. So the second alligator that I told you to guess was 11 10. 11 foot, 10 inches long. Bree's biggest gator ever. My biggest for the season. So hope to see all you guys out in Okeechobee on October 5th. I'm going to have everything for that in the description below. Deer meat will be there. Deer mom. Couple surprise guests that y'all won't even have no clue are coming until you get there and you see them. Blue Jacks. Blue James will be there. We might even get Bree to come. You never know. She'll have her Salt Life stuff. So if y'all don't know, she's a big part of Salt Life. She's a kayak and paddleboard fisherman. Y'all check her Instagram out. I'll have it below. Definitely all you single ladies, check out James. Blue James as it goes. Hey, but like we say, all good stories got to have an ending. And right now we're gone. I feel horrible because I never tell you what I'm using in these gator fishing videos. Just there's so much stuff going on in any video that we're doing that you forget things. So right now I just got a text from my buddies. So this rod is a Mags Custom Rod. For most of y'all that follow deer meat for dinner, you know who Mags Custom Rod is. It's an awesome rod. It's got a lot of flimsiness to it, but it's also strong. This rod is a buddy of mine, Grand Slam Bait and Tackle in Jupiter. I'll have everything to this rod and Mag's Custom Rod in the description below. You watch Robert's Deer Meat for Dinner Saudi videos. These are the Talicas that he used in that tournament all the way over there in Saudi Arabia. They're filled to the brim with 125 pound test power pro. 
The reason we do that, as you see me dump the bait out in this video when we drive like 350 yards, that's how we do it. We have a ton of line. So when you're gator hunting, I want a rod with a little bit of tip, and then I'll also have a rod with a lot of backbone because that gator's 400 pounds and you're trying to winch him up off the bottom. So these are my bait rods. I use Gator Pro baits. Obviously, all y'all that watch me gator hunt know that I use Gator Pro and everything that has to do with that will be in the description below. But as far as our rods, we just, we use what we have. This is what we have. We sail fish with them, grouper fish with them, mutton fish, and catch giant gators. 